fight to fight the next cage rage. You know, I don't care. Uh, you know, there's Bob Sapp, there's... It depends on what the people want to see. If the people want to see it, I'm here for it. Fantastic. Put your hands together for Butter B! Eric Esch, better known as Butterbean, fought 91 times in pro boxing, winning 77 with 58 knockouts. Many of them were featured in one of our previous videos, but Eric did not think to stop there. And in 2003, he had his first MMA fight. His record in MMA was 17 wins and 10 losses. In this video, we will show you all of Eric's fights in MMA that we could find footage of. If you like this video, please don't forget to punch the like button as it really helps us to develop the channel. Now, let's get started. December 31st, 2003. For his first MMA fight, Butterbean entered the ring against Japanese fighter Genki Sudo. Speed and endurance were completely on the side of Genki Sudo. Eric tried to turn the fight into a clinch and a painful submission, but in this case, Sudo proved stronger and managed to win the fight by submission, performing a heel hook. February 2005. Butterbean versus Michael Buchkovich. An interesting fight for both the spectators and for the fighters themselves. Everything was on display in this battle. Blows with hands and feet, clinches, and attempted submissions. However, the fight unexpectedly ended in a draw by a unanimous decision of the judges. Looks like it's got rematch written all over. January 2006, Butterbean versus Wesley Corriera at the Rumble on the Rock 8 tournament. On display was one of Eric's best fights in his MMA career. He simply destroyed the enemy. He was better in clinching, he attacked better, and struck harder, winning by TKO. Congratulations. I mean, uh, your face says it all, his arm says it all. Talk about this fight, man. Tough, tough. I mean, first of all, I busted my teeth out for some reason. I had to clean my mouth teeth, get the chunks of teeth out, and I went back at it. April 2006, Butterbean entered the ring against Aaron Aguilera. In this fight, Eric showed his defense in withstanding the attacks of a faster and more technical fighter. Eric contrasted Aaron's speed with strength. In the second round, Aaron desperately threw himself at Butterbean's feet. Eric stopped him and managed to perform a choke. Can I call you submission expert now? <laughs> I 
2006, Butterbean versus Sean O'Hare. This is Eric's fastest victory in his MMA career, with the fight ending at the end of the first round. Eric fought Sean O'Hare in place of Mark Hunt, who could not fight due to issues with the NSAC. However, O'Hare proved no match for Butterbean, who dismantled him easily in under 30 seconds. As a result, Sean was knocked out in an effective and fast victory. I told you when come game, I can't, I can't doubt that. And I really didn't get ready to fight until he hit me a good one. I, that, that made me want to go. And these fans are going to pray. Thank you. Love you, everybody here. Thank you. What a meeting. December 2006. Eric's fight versus English fighter Rob Broughton. Rob took Butterbean to the ground, where he landed a lot of punches. Eric was able to stand up, but he could not withstand the third fall. Rob hits Eric hard in the face, and the referee stops the fight. February 2007. At this time, mixed martial arts was a completely different game before the big promotions like UFC, who knew how to harness the star power. In this match, Eric faced James Thompson. Eric was able to deliver two right hooks out of three in quick succession. As a result, James Thompson was knocked out. Although many dispute the stoppage, this fight illustrates the danger of trash talking before the fight. Promoting the bout is great, but a fighter can end up looking rather foolish if you get finished off too quickly. You fought a cage rage last time, didn't go too well. This time, you did the business. Well, last time I said I wasn't feeling well, I didn't want to make it public, and I don't want to make no excuses. Brown was a better man last time. I come with energy, I come to fight. The fans here are unbelievable. I love fighting here, but almost as good as the U.S. I feel at home, the people here are wonderful. April 2007, Butterbean entered the ring against Zuluzino. In this fight, Eric showed that he also knows how to perform a submission using unique tactics. To win this fight, Eric used his main weapon, his weight. He leaned on Zuluzino in the clinch and successfully performed a painful submission, grabbing the opponent's hand, leading to a victory in the first round. Butterbean fought against Georgian fighter Tengiz Tedradze and suffered one of his saddest defeats. result, Butterbean lasted another 40 seconds, missing blows to the face one after another. These strikes split his lip and broke his nose, covering his entire face with blood. He was forced to surrender because he could no longer physically continue the fight.
right to mixed martial arts. December 2007, Butterbean versus Nick Penner. In the first minute of the first round, Penner presses Eric into the net and punches Eric several times. Butterbean falls to the floor. Penner grabs his right arm and performs a submission to end the fight. versus Patrick Smith. A spectacular fight for Patrick. A minute later in the first round, Patrick hits a low kick, causing Eric to fall to the floor of the ring. Patrick then delivered a series of strong blows, forcing Eric to surrender. September 2009, Butterbean versus Tom Howard, the second meeting of these two MMA monsters. From the first seconds of the fight, Butterbean fell on Tom. He managed to get up, but not for long. There was an exchange of blows and Tom falls back to the floor of the ring. Eric successfully performs a choke. was a defeat for Eric which would long be remembered by the viewers. Jeff pressed his opponent, causing the fight to be a stalemate at times. Eric finally fell to the floor of the ring, missing several incoming powerful punches to the face, and he could not stand up. Another broken nose, split lip, and a defeat. September 2010, Butterbean versus Polish fighter Mariusz Kudzianowski. Interestingly, the bout lasted just over a minute. After a powerful barrage of blows to the head, Mariusz simply left no options but for Eric to surrender. The result was a very sad defeat for Butterbean. Butterbean versus Dean Story. In the second round, Butterbean countered and gave Dean an accurate left hook, after which Dean was unable to continue the fight, resulting in a TKO victory for Butterbean. about the fight, how you're feeling. I never get mad. No matter what happens in the ring, I don't get mad. Never get mad. I just keep it. <laughs> so, hey, Dean's a great guy. You know, y'all got a great guy here. I love fighting with Gary and everybody is phenomenal people here. Promoters here, everybody follow. So thanks for having me, y'all. Y'all are great. Love you. October 2011. Butterbean versus Eric Barak. A full-fledged MMA fight that lasted three rounds.
At first glance, it seemed that Butterbean looked better during this fight. But according to the judges, Barack won. Eric's last fight was on October 21st, 2011, against fighter Sandy Bowman. In the first seconds of the match, Sandy showed a couple of techniques from Oriental martial arts. He followed this with a kick to the head that Eric did not expect. The force of the blow sent Eric into a knockout.